Hi, and welcome to Information Talks by Sigma Technology. Uh, this is the show where we explore news and trends within product information. And today we're discussing the hot topic of chat uh, GPT. And we will talk about how it can be used for learning. So with us today, we have invited two learning experience designers. We have Margarita from Sigma Technology, and also we have Anastasia from Ericsson. So very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, tell us, what is chat GPT? Uh, I can start. Uh, ChatGPT is a chatbot and it pretends to be a human or have a human-like conversations with you. Uh, so you can ask it questions and mm -hmm. it will answer. It can give you recommendations, even produce content for you and many more things. It's a quite a powerful tool. So let's have a look at an example. Mm -hmm. So here I asked ChatGPT to take the quote of uh, Greta Thunberg, mm -hmm. people are underestimating the force of angry kids. And I asked it to rewrite it as if Trump said it. And so it's not a usual uh, you know, request that you would ask <laughs> Google to do, mm -hmm. uh, but it does it very well. It uses some of the iconic words that uh, mm -hmm. Trump would use. Nobody, and I mean nobody, understands the power of angry kids. Yeah, and uh, we need to deal uh, with them in a bigly way. And mm -hmm. uh, trust me, I know how to handle these things. Yeah. So you almost can uh, hear his voice. Very realistic, <laughs> like a Trump feeling here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had a question about uh, what's the difference between uh, ChatGPT and, for example, Siri or Google uh, Home. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, ChatGPT is a, a large language model and uh, Siri is, it, it, it's not a language model. Mm. So it, it has more basic functions. It can dial you know, phone number, Google something, tell you the weather, mm. but it cannot talk to you and maintain the yeah. conversation and remember, and it's not um, trained to like learn from its own mistakes and so on. Right? Exactly, yeah, I think ChatGPT, the prominent feature there is that it learns as it goes. So from yeah. talking to you, it learns from what information can be relevant to you mm. as a user and provides uh, the most important information. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, you are learning professionals. So uh, what were your first impressions of ChatGPT? First, I saw it as a fun toy <laughs> to play with. So I was asking it a lot of random questions, not connected to my work. Uh, but then I realized, oh, this could actually help me in my day-to-day -day work yeah. quite a lot. And uh, yeah, it could help me create content, answer my questions or provide uh, sources or recommendations. So yeah, I, I found it very useful. My impression was also positive. Actually, I liked it. We used it a lot. I found out about it from my work. My colleagues were using it. Mm -hmm. And so my uh, introduction to ChatGPT was actually a little bit more... Mm, Bumpy. Uh, Bumpy, <laughs> because I gave it very difficult requests okay. and it made mistakes. So mm. today, for the sake of the argument and to warn people about its limitations, I will be actually focusing on its drawbacks and how right. to use it responsibly and yeah, mm. be aware of them. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, so here we have uh, asked ChatGPT this question. So mm -hmm. what can you do for learning? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's quite a few things, as it turns out. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can answer general questions, help to build vocabulary, assist with writing tasks, or just to practice language, prepare for tests, and even to develop as a person. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that can come in handy. Uh, yeah. Obviously. Mm. Uh, yeah, but uh, from myself, I can add that I see the big value in personalized learning. Mm. So in a sense, it could be uh, an affordable and accessible tutor mm -hmm. uh, that you can reach out to 24 seven in the middle of the night, whenever you need it mm -hmm. and ask any questions that you have um, related to your studies or work mm -hmm. and it will be there to answer. And it will also learn as it goes. So it will remember uh, which answer is the most relevant for you. Mm. Okay. So we have some more examples of maybe the drawbacks. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So of let's course. let's see what uh, ChatGPT says about that. Yeah. Let's ask it. It's quite self-critical. So if we ask it, what are your drawbacks, dear ChatGPT? Uh, it uh, recognizes that it has a lack of emotional intelligence. Mm. Although some of my friends tell me that it's much better at it than <laughs> some of their partners. <laughs> um, limited creativity. Yeah. Not uh, Van Gogh yet or <laughs> Shakespeare. Um, lack of context. Yeah. If you don't tell it specifically what you want mm -hmm. and where and how it might not understand what you're uh, asking. 
uh, inability to learn beyond my training data means that it was trained on a huge uh, data of, uh, like amount of information, mm -hmm. but only until which year? 2021. 2021. Mm -hmm. So if you ask anything about present day, uh, like, oh, what do you think about this new TV show that came out yesterday? It was like, mm, what TV show? Doesn't know. Yeah. It, it even doesn't know about uh, about its own uh, current version, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. it's not so self-aware. <laughs> <laughs> and I asked, "Tell me about your uh, version from 2023." Mm -hmm. It says, "I I don't know. I, I only know things from 2021 and be before." Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is aware that it's not human, at least. Yeah. So that it knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, can we take? Some of these examples, or maybe one of them, and look at it. Uh, how ChatGPT can be used for learning and discuss it in detail. Mm -hmm. Sure, um, yeah. I can take my favorite example of language learning. Yeah, I, sure. I, I love learning languages, so I'm quite excited about this feature. Uh, and there are several ways you can you can use it for. So you can practice communication or conversation skills. Uh, you can ask it to proofread text and correct mistakes, uh, and if it will will explain to you what kind of mistakes you did and why. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so we can start with conversation skills. Um, maybe we can try it out in, yeah. uh, in yeah. English. Okay, and maybe we, you have some great example of that. Yeah. So let's have a look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we brought here my chat uh, with it about uh, TV shows. TV and shows. <laughs> well, yeah. I actually asked it to pretend to be my friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very sad. And talk to me in English to help me practice my conversational skills. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it keeps. Uh, it looks pretty natural to me. Yeah. Um, it asks you questions. It like continues the conversations, keep it going, and yeah. Yeah, and sounds pretty good. And it, it even kind of shows a sort of emotion, like oh, medical drama. <laughs> it seems very excited about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's one uh, way to use it. And yeah. then uh, another one we could show uh, maybe about the emails. We have yeah. one yeah. more example. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I use this a lot at my work, okay. especially when I write important emails, and I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes there. Uh, so I ask ChatGPT to. Uh, check it for me uh, and uh, yeah maybe we can look at the example that uh, that I have here okay uh, so I wrote something very short <laughs> this time and even though it was short still I managed to do a few mistakes uh, and intentional uh, or unintentional oh let's keep it purely <laughs> it was an accident it was an accident yes uh, and ChatGPT uh, corrected the, the email and also explained uh, why mm. it corrected it. So in that way I can learn uh, what is the right grammatical way uh, to compose an email like that. Mm. Yeah. That's mm. probably the most valuable thing here. Yeah, very helpful I think. But... <laughs> okay, so some more uh, <laughs> reflections on this. Yes, there's always a but. Yeah. I, I've also used it for language learning, you remember. Mm. However, I've had some arguments with ChatGPT because um, it doesn't always recognize mis uh, mistakes. It, it can miss some. Mm. And I've also brought an example here. Okay, perfect. So, so let's have a look at your yeah. example. Let's have a look. So I ask it, can you talk to me in English and correct my mistakes? Says, and obviously yes, sure. we have some mistakes here. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, if somebody has noticed, there is an end with an mm. E, correct with one R, and English is not capitalized. So it says, yes, I'd be happy to help. I ask it, did I make any mistakes? And it's like, nope. No, your first question was correct. However, the funny thing is, is that mm. it rewrites it correctly, mm. but it doesn't acknowledge that I made so mistakes. Too polite, maybe, here? I don't know. <laughs> polite is stupid or whatever. <laughs> One of those. Yeah, yeah. So it might be a little bit confusing for people who are maybe beginners mm. in that. Yeah, uh, and another thing. Yeah. The uh, medical drama conversation. All right. Yeah, we should. Not over that. yet. <laughs> okay, so you have some more examples of this uh, conversation? Yes. Okay, yes. let's have a look at that. Let's have a look. So we showed you the good part, right? Mm -hmm. But here, when it just started being emotional and everything, ah, oh, medical dramas, mm -hmm. and asked me what, which ones I've watched, I'm, I said House MD, of course. Mm -hmm. And then it just started quoting Wikipedia. Like, what is this? House MD is a great medical drama. It follows the story of Gregory House, brilliant diagnostician. I mean, yeah. so not it's a not very human like. Yeah. Not a conversation anymore, so it's more like giving you some facts. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It doesn't sound realistic, and uh, yeah, I've had it, it's not here, but I've had some conversations with it when I said, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, a human would never answer like that. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this, uh, yeah. these are some drawbacks. It's not a human, 
I guess <laughs> we, we can agree on that, that it, it is not a human and it has its drawbacks. Mm. So you cannot rely on it as a, if it was a real language body, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it has some limitations and also it can only text. So you cannot use it with the voice. You cannot practice your pronunciation or something like mm -hmm. that. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So do you know anything about updates or when it's new versions mm. coming and what's happening in the future? Yeah, I heard that <laughs> the new version is already out called GPT-4 yeah. and apparently it's much more powerful and also multimodal. The future will be interesting, it yeah. seems. It yeah. seems like. It's already interesting. <laughs> I don't know about you, but <laughs> quite interesting. <laughs> okay, so uh, these were great examples that we've seen today mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's time for us to summarize. Uh, okay. So, uh, what are your conclusions about ChatGPT uh, when it comes to learning? Yeah, I, I think it's uh, quite a powerful tool in learning, like we said. Um, it cannot completely replace us as learning experience no. designers, right? We will still need to create and edit and review content, so it's important to uh, keep critical thinking mm -hmm. <laughs> when you receive answers from ChatGPT. But it can be a good uh, starting point and it can, uh, yeah provide you basic information and then you can dig deeper from there. Yeah, definitely. I absolutely agree with everything here. Mm. Just be aware that it makes mistakes. It's not uh, perfect. It cannot replace a human being. And also be aware of the privacy and security issues. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what should you think about there? Well, it can store information mm. and uh, use it against you in the court of law. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> it can, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's open. It's open mm. AI. Uh, mm. So if you put anything sensitive there, it might mm. get out there. So also be careful with yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Both with your personal information and information from your company. So mm. don't yeah. feed no, it anything that you don't want to share with the world. Mm. Okay. So yeah. great comments. Mm. So uh, thank you very much. Margot, thank you, Anna, for uh, great discussions today. Uh, and I think I will see you again soon mm -hmm. uh, in our coming episodes of uh, Information Talks. Uh, we will definitely talk more about Chat uh, GPT and uh, how it can be used for uh, learning experience designers. So mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. <laughs>